Okay, sixth grade, lesson 66. This is on multiplying mixed numbers. What is a mixed number? It's a, uh, wait, I forgot. Mixed. It's like a number and then a fraction. Yes, a number and a fraction. A whole number and a fraction mixed together. So this is a whole number. This is a fraction. This is a mixed number because it's mixed. Okay, good. Now, watch what I'm going to do. You're going to learn how to multiply mixed numbers. So, 2 and 2 thirds times, let's do, do this first. I'm going to do this first. 2 and a half times 1 and 1 third. Okay? Do change the denominators? We are going to, when you are multiplying, you do not have to have common denominators. Only on adding and subtracting fractions. Okay. Okay? Guess what we're going to do? We're going to make this into an improper fraction, multiply it, and then reduce it. And if we need to make it into a proper number, we will. Okay? So help me come up with an improper fraction here. Do you remember how to do these? I'll do the first one for you. Oh. Two times two is four. four and then four times one. Plus one okay, that's right. is. So it's five over two. Five over two. Very good. Times. Let's do this one. That's three plus that's four over three. Four over three. Now, it becomes a problem that you're used to working with, right? You don't have to have the same, so we just go from left to right. Five times four is 20. Two times three is six. Now, this is an improper um, answer. We reduce it. We want to. Okay, so as I was saying, we're going to take 20 over 6, and it is an improper number, so we need to make it proper. So, you can reduce first, and then convert it into a mixed number, or we can convert it to a mixed number and then reduce. Which one do you want to do first? Reduce first. Okay. What will go into both 20 and 6? Um, I know two. I know 2 will. 2 will go into 20 10 times. 2 will go into 6 3 times. Okay. Okay. I don't think it will reduce any more. Mm -hmm. So, basically, we take 10... Divided by 3. And then that will go in 3 and 1 third. See how I did that? Remember that 1 goes up top? So and that three 2 and a half times 1 and 1 third is 3. 3 and 1 third. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So if I had 2 and a half pies and it's multiplied by process, 1 and a half. Though. 1 and a third, huh? It's a long process. It though. is. Okay, let's try another one. Where did my eraser go? Okay. Okay, this one's going to get a little bit harder. So, you see 2 and 2 thirds times a whole number 4. What should you I do? You just do 3 and 3 thirds. Three and three. For the whole number. You can like... Take no, that. you can't do that. That's only with adding and subtracting. Good thought. Good thought okay. process. 4 over 1. Yes, perfect. Thought idea. Good idea. Because... This one's going to become improper, and this one we need to make improper. So you want them to be the same type. Okay? So okay. what worked for 4, which was, um, what would that be, 3 and 3 thirds? That would be what it was if you're adding and subtracting. Multiplying changes the rules completely. Okay. Okay, so you've got to differentiate that in your head to know that there's a difference. Okay? So now let's make this. 3 times 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8, 8 thirds times 4 over 1. And we just do it like normal. 8 times 4, 32. 3 times 1, 3. Okay? Don't believe it will reduce, but let's go on and do 32 divided by 3. 3 over 1 to 3 one time. We have, two. we have 2 left over. I'm going to bring it up. Slide the 3 over. 1 and 2 thirds. Final answer. So 32 and a third and over a third is one and two thirds. Got it? That is lesson 66.